hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking steam at 320 degrees celsius flows in a stainless steel pipe and thermal conductivity of that one is provided whose inner and outer diameters are 5 cm and 5.5 cm respectively the pipe is covered with 3 cm thick glass wool insulation heat is lost to the surroundings at 5 degrees celsius by natural convection and radiation with a combined natural convection and radiation heat transfer coefficient of 15 watts per meter square kelvin taking the heat transfer coefficient inside the pipe to be 80 watts per meter square kelvin determine the rate of heat loss so that's our first question and then they are asking to find determine the temperature drops ac across the pipe shell and the insulation now let's see how we can find the heat loss first to find the heat loss what we use we use this equation q dot is equal to t infinity 1 minus t infinity 2 over r total so here this heat is going to flow from higher temperature to lower temperature and inside temperature is higher that is 320 and outside is 5 degrees celsius so inside is going to be t infinity 1 and outside is going to be 5 now we need r total right in order to calculate q dot now let's go ahead and find r total to find the r total we need to know the diagram that is we have this pipe right here and we have steel in the first layer right and then we have insulation right so this is what we have and this is cylindrical shape now the thickness of this one is provided I mean inside diameter is provided 5 centimeters that's going to be this one right here this distance that is 5 centimeter and then we have with steel it's 5.5 centimeter so this diameter is going to be 5.5 centimeter and then they are saying it's covered with 3 centimeter thick glass wall insulation so if one side is 3 centimeters thick so we, are, we have two sides here. so 3 plus 3 that's going to be 6 so 5 point plus 6 that's going to be so this is 5.5 let's write in a different color so this is 5.5 5.5 plus 6 that's going to be 11.5 right so this outer diameter is going to be 11.5 centimeter so this is what we have to know before we start the problem now let's see so from inside if we start from inside inside we are going to have convection because they are saying steam is flowing through the inside so we are going to have convection inside that's going to be the inside resistance then we have steel right here this is our steel right so steel right here so we are going to have resistance due to steel and then outside we have insulation glass insulation so that's going to be convection and then we have i mean that's conduction then outside we have surrounding that's convection so here if we start this one right here let's let's say this is r inside then we have r1 r2 then r outside right so this is t inside t outside now we have to calculate these four in order to calculate the r total now let's begin with the r inside inside we are going to have convection so that's given by 1 over h a now 1 over h inside convection and if you look at this one we have radiation trans so this is outside and inside the pipe 80 watts per meter square kelvin so this is our inside convection so let's plug 80 right here we have to calculate the inside area right so we know that inside diameter is 5 centimeter so this is since this is a cylindrical shape to calculate the surface area surface area we use this equation phi dl or you you may see in 2 phi rh both of them are same thing 2, 2 r is equal to d so that's how we got 5 dl now 5 times diameter is 5 centimeter inside diameter 
So 5 centimeter, 5 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. And then here they have mentioned that is per unit length. So determine the heat run rate of heat loss from the steam per unit length. So unit length means we just take length as 1 meter. Right? And if you calculate this value, you should get 0 0.157 meter square. So this is going to be the area. Now let's go ahead and apply for this one. Now we got the area that's 0 0.157. Now if you calculate this one, that should give you. So this one should give you 0 0.08 degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have calculated this one. Now let's move to the next one. Next one we have steel right here. So steel is conduction, right? So through the steel we are going to have conduction. So whenever we have conduction, to find the resistance we use this equation. And since this is a cylindrical shape, we are going to use this one. Long R2 over R1 over 2 phi LK. So this is the generic formula to find the resistant in conduction in a cylindrical shape. Now here you can use radius or diameter because the ratio is always going to be same but if you take diameter both of them should be diameter if you take radius both of them should be radius. Now to find for the steels right so this is R1 so this is steel. To find for the steels what we have to know is uh, where the steel is starting and where it's ending. And we know that 5 centimeters in a diameter and that's where the steel is starting and it's ending at 5.5 centimeter right so those are the two values we have to use and r2 is going to be outer diameter so the 5.5 is going to be on top so long 5.5 and then inner diameter that is 5 centimeter so that's going to be in the denominator so 5 and then so we, we don't even have to convert the units because the ratio is going to be same even if you put change the units you will still get the same value now 2 phi l we know that unit length so this is going to be 1 and k conductivity of steel that's provided right here that's 15 so that's the one we are going to use right here and if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.00101 degrees celsius per watts now this is resistant due to steel. Now let's move to the next one. Next one we have insulation. That's glass insulation. So let's go ahead and find that one. So again we are going to use same equation since that's also that is also conduction and cylindrical shape we are going to use the same equation. So this is also going to be long R2 over R1 over 2 phi LK. So again you can use diameter or radius, the ratio is going to be same. Now here we have to know where this this uh, glass uh, conduct, I mean glass insulation is starting and where it's ending. And we know this is starting from 5.5, right? And it's ending at 11.5. So this is our inside radius, I mean inside diameter, and this is our outside diameter. So outside diameter is going to come on top. So this is going to be long. 11.5 over inside diameter that is 5.5 and in the denominator we are going to have 2 phi again this is a unit length so we are going to put 1 right here and conductivity thermal conductivity of uh, this insulation is provided right here 0 0.038 right 0 0.038 and if you calculate this value you should get 0 I mean 3. 089 degrees Celsius per watts. So this is going to be the resistance due to this uh, insulation. Now let's now we, we have to go to the outside. Outside convection uh, and again outside is going to be convection right but here the area is going to be changed because we know the diameter before we calculate for inside diameter now outside we have different diameter so we have to calculate this surface area again. So surface area is again phi dl because it's a cylindrical shape. Phi times d 
outer diameter is 11.5 centimeter 11.5 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and then again unit length so this is going to be just one and if you calculate this area you should get 0 0.3613 meters square so this is going to be our outer surface area now we can calculate our outer convection resistance so again outer convection resistance is going to be 1 over HA and outer heat transfer coefficient is given by 15 watts per meter square Kelvin so this is going to be 1 over 15 times this area that is 0 0.3613 and if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.1847 right degrees Celsius per watts now we have all the resistance since this is in series, I mean series, we can add them directly. Now let's go ahead and add the, uh, find the R total. Therefore, R total is going to be equal to R inside plus R1 plus R2 plus R outside. Right? R inside we calculated that 0 0.08 plus R1 that is 0 0.00101 plus then R2 3.089 plus R outside that is 0 0.1847 and if you add them together you should get 3.355 degrees Celsius per watt. Now we have the R total. Now we can go ahead and find our q dot right now let's go ahead and find our q dot so let's erase some of these parts <coughs> so let's find our q dot to find q dot we use this equation in t infinity one that's going to be the initial temperature here the initial is going to be 320 because it always flows from hot to cold so this is going to be 320 minus outside temperature that is 5 and then our total we calculated 3.355 degrees Celsius per watts right this is degrees Celsius now if you calculate this one you should get 93.9 watts so this answers our first question determine the rate of heat loss so we we have done the first question now let's look at the second question determine the temperature drop across the pipe shell and the insulation so whenever we, we to find temperature drop we use this equation so here this it's going to be the same equation you know this is basically q dot is equal to delta t over r right so this is our general pattern now if we want to find this one for so here they are asking for the temperature drop so we are trying to find delta t so delta t is going to be q dot times r right since this is in series q dot is going to be equal everywhere so all we have to do is multiply by resistance of uh, whatever they are asking for First, they are asking for the shell, pipe shell. So we know that pipe shell is made of steel and we have calculated the resistance for steel, that is R1, right? That value is this one, 0 0.0101. So that's the one steel, due to resistance due to steel. So if we want to calculate temperature or drop in steel, what we do is we put the same Q dot that we calculated, this one, 93.9 watts times this resistance so that is uh, 0 0.00101 for this steel pipe so that's going to be equal to 0 0.095 degrees celsius so we have done this part right here temperature drop across pipe shell now they are asking for the insulation too so again we are going to use the same equation delta t is equal to Q dot R, Q dot is going to remain the same, that's going to be 
now since they are asking for the insulation we have to uh, apply the insulation due to this uh, I mean resistant due to this insulation that's that we calculated right here so that's the one we are going to plug 3.089 and if you calculate this value you should get 290 degrees Celsius and those are the answers we get for these questions and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time